now I want to get into the concepts of securing Azure using Azure policies. So here's what we're going to do. We are uh, going to create a virtual machine and we're going to use a policy that's going to analyze that virtual machine for compliance. And we're going to have it check to see if the uh, anti-malware um, extension has been installed. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll get into uh, deploying another policy that will um, remediate that and actually uh, install the extension if it's not there. All right, so to get started, here we are on portal.azure.com. We're going to click the menu button. We're going to go down to virtual machines. And I'm going to kind of do this quickly because I'm expecting that you are, I'm assuming you already know how to create virtual machines, right? So we'll go here to uh, Azure Virtual Machine. We'll just create a quick... Um, quick uh, uh, resource group called VM Demo RG and I'm just going to call this virtual machine Win Server 2019 okay uh, and then we will go with East US not going to do any availability zone we'll switch it to uh, Server 2019 data center um, we'll go with the default on the size and create my admin account and password Okay, um, and then we will click next, and we'll switch this just to standard HDD, just to you know save on cost. Not that we'll leave the virtual machine running very long, so cost shouldn't be a big deal. And then of course um, I'm going to have on the management tab, I'm going to have it auto shut down. Uh, I'm going to disable the monitoring, and of course if I wanted to install the extension, um, I could go right there on advanced, and we could go and choose load more and we could install the extension uh, this way right and let's try that again load more and just look for the there it is the Microsoft anti malware extension but we're not going to do that because we want to have a policy that's going to test that out for us okay so we'll close out of that and then we'll click review and create uh, at that point once this is done validating, I'm going to go ahead and click to create, and I will just pause the recording while that's getting created. Okay, now that my uh, Windows Server virtual machine is up and running, here it is right here. All right. Um, and I can go to my resource groups by clicking the menu button and clicking on VM Demo RG, and I can see that the virtual machine is there and up and running. Okay. So, what I want to look at now is policies. So, we can go to policies by clicking policies right here or you can always click the menu button and you can um, go to all services and just do a search for policy and that's just another another way you can get into policies so if you weren't trying to place a policy directly on you know virtual machines or something like that you want to go to the general area where policies are that's an easy way to do it so now that we're here in policies we're gonna click on definitions and you will see all the various definitions that are available uh, in Azure and there are hundreds and hundreds of these things that are available these policies are all written in JSON okay so as you click on any of these you'll see JavaScript object notation alright uh, you can sort these by whether it's a you just want to view them all in one stream if you want to view the pol uh, just policies or initiatives. An initiative is just a group of policies. So you have individual policies and you have groups of policies which are called initiatives. Then you have categories, you could sort by that. And then if you just want to search for a specific policy, you can do that here. I'm going to put the word malware in there. And as you can see, there are some policies involving malware. Now the one I'm looking for is this one right here. All right, um, which is the Microsoft IaaS anti-malware extension should be deployed on a Windows server. So let's click on that and let's take a look at the JSON of it. Now, you don't really have to be an expert on JSON here. Just uh, just looking at some of the, the basic parameters and all that we have involved it tells you. Okay, so this is the name of the policy. It tells you what it's going to do. It's going to the policy audits any Windows Server VM without Microsoft IaaS anti-malware extension deployed. You could. Uh, you can view here that it's checking to see this this parameter is just verifying that this is turned on or off enabled or disabled when you deploy this policy 
Uh, below that, you have it's going to search in the Microsoft.compute slash virtual uh, machines. It's going to look to see if the image publisher is Microsoft. It's looking that it's a Windows Server offering, and then it looks at the different SKUs. Okay. Uh, you will notice that Server 2022 is not listed there. You could add that if you wanted. You just have to verify the SKU name of it, and you could paste that in. Uh, um, they'll eventually update this uh, this de policy definition with that. They just haven't yet. Um, so then it's going to go into the Microsoft.compute slash virtual machine slash extensions, and it's going to check for this extension. Okay, um, And from there... It uh, verifies the publisher and looks, uh, and it's going to specify in the Microsoft.Azure.Security. That's where this extension is going to be located at. All right. So from there, we're now going to click Assign, and we're going to specify the scope. The scope is what is it going to um, link to. We could have it linked to just the whole entire subscription, or we could specify a specific resource group. I'm going to tell it to go to the VM Demo RG resource group. That's where our virtual machines are. If we had multiple, we just have one, but if we had multiple, it would analyze all of them. So we'll click Select, and then from there, make sure it's enabled, which it is. Okay, we click Next. Then it would have any additional parameters. We'd have to answer those here. So what is a parameter? It's something that it's an additional piece of information that must be specified before the policy can be applied. In this case, there isn't anything extra. Uh, and I'm not going to do a remediation right now because I want to talk about that uh, after the policy tells us that it's not compliant. Okay, If you want to specify any kind of non-compliant message, it, it is going to tell you that it's not compliant, but you could you know, you know, could specify um, uh, an additional piece. So it says non-compliance message helps users understand why a resource is not compliant. The message will be displayed when a resource is denied and the evaluation details. So if I wanted to, I could add an additional piece of information here, but I don't need to. So I'm going to click Next, and then we're going to click to Create. Now, just be aware that as exciting it is to create that very quickly, and it says it's already applied, if you look at their warning message here, it can take up to 30 minutes for this to take effect. Okay, So you definitely need to be patient with this. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, wait about, uh, pause the recording, wait about 30 minutes, and then we'll come back. Okay, so now that we've uh, waited, we're going to go to the menu button here, and we're going to go to resource groups, and we're going to click on the VM Demo RG. We're going to click on the policies blade, and look at there. We have Microsoft IAAS anti-malware extension should be deployed, and it says it's not compliant. We're going to click on that. And we can see that this Win Server 2019 is not compliant, right? All right, so we can click on details. It says it's not compliant. And so now what we're going to do is we are going to apply a policy that is going to make it compliant, okay? So let's go back over here uh, to policies. And we're going to click to assign another policy. Um, and let's see. So parameter will be VM demo RG policy definition. So let's do a search for malware. All right. And then let's see. We have deploy the default Microsoft IAAS extension for Windows Server. So let's choose that. So we're going to deploy this policy. Go ahead and enable it. We're going to click next. Okay. No parameters. Remediation. It says, by default, this assignment will only take effect on newly created resources. Existing resources can be updated via remediation task. After the policy is assigned for deploy, if not exist policy, the remediation task will deploy the specified template. For modified policies, remediation tasks will edit tags on the existing resource. All right, so we'll create the remediation task. So, okay, that's great. It will need to create a managed identity so that it has the rights to do this and it's going to just do a system identity. You could do a user assigned one if you went through and created one but we don't need to do that. Alright and then the permission is fine for that. We're going to go ahead and click review and create uh, and we're going to click create. So we've now created this policy assignment and it, this can take some time as well so I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and let it run through. 
All right, so after waiting a while for that to get done, uh, I waited about 20 minutes in this case, but it does say you might have to wait up to 30. Uh, we have officially uh, waited for it to finish, and now what I want to do is um, jump over here and look at the deploy default Microsoft IIS uh, anti malware extension, and it does say that it is compliant now. Okay. So clicking the menu button here, going to resource groups, going over here to uh, VM Demo RG, looking at policies. You can see the policies are here. The deploy is, that's how I got there. It's 100%. Let's go verify the actual, um, the actual uh, virtual machine itself. So let's go to the virtual machine, Win Server 2019, and let's click on um extensions and see if the extensions there and it is so it is 100 percent working so hopefully now that gives you an understanding of you know applying policies and gives you a bit of a visualization of that actually uh taking effect hey this is john christopher i hope you enjoyed that video and i want you to know that i'm trying really hard to grow this channel so i hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe also if you'll check the description in this video i've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses i have lots of different microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam all right thanks a lot for watching the video and i hope to see you again <music>